hi gorgeous and lovely people welcome back to the channel again it's your girl patricia here again so today we are making this fresh and organic cold pressed rosemary oil and i hope you will love this please keep watching as i take you through how i prepare this i'm glad to have you here today watch to the end and let us get started So here I have this fresh rosemary leaves. Yes, you can go for dry one. Anyone your hand can get um, rich to use it. They are all serving the same purpose. But I'm really going for this um, fresh one because it is still having all the nutrients that I need in the rosemary. And as you can see, I have this quantity please there is no any amount of quantity that will be enough or i will describe for you you go for the quantity of oil that you want to make or you want to have if you are going for commercials or for personal use it is up to you to know what you really want so um i'm going ahead to bring them out from the stain and uh, you know make sure that i get out any obstructions from the um, rosemary oil all right so i'm trying to do this you can decide to skip this it is all optional i like to overdo guys don't mind me i like doing things my own things extraordinary so i went ahead to to chop this yes because i want to really get the real 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 rosemary oil you know without any color addiction or anything so i went ahead to you know give it a slice chop it in a way that it will help it will be easily you know extracted okay and nothing missing nothing broken so when i wanted to start chopping i found out that i still have some um sticks on them so i had to resume again by removing the sticks and hence i was wasting I was still removing the things you saw earlier so at this point i am not cutting or chopping or cutting leaf if you are from the um african part of the world like nigeria where i am or where i am from um we chop or cutting like this tiny so at this point i have finished cutting it you don't need to wash it because you don't need oil in fact you don't need water in your oil so just go ahead and use it so when you are trying to if you want to wash this you can wash it and keep to drain out the water and use it later but mine was clean so i didn't bother to you know wash it so at this point i'm using coconut oil and you can use any oil of your choice yes but i'm going for this coconut oil because of the color i just want to have a very pure rosemary um rosemary oil i don't want to have any extra oil uh, color on it so as you can see my coconut oil was blocked and i tried to melt it before adding my you know my rosemary leaf yeah so rosemary i've said it several times in this channel and i'll keep on saying it so that you understand the benefit of rosemary oil you know rosemary as we know is an anti-inflammatory properties it helps to promote or grow nerve growth okay it also helps to improve circulation in your scarf so i've gone ahead to you know to add um the rosemary and at this point i'm using the double boil like i always say i prefer this double boiling because it will not reduce the nutrient in my oil it gives you natural i mean natural natural oil from the product you are using and this it took out like will i say about one hour or so thereabout that i cooked this i was just staring this off camera you know not to waste your time here i was just here as you can see this is the real rosemary oil without any color without anything added to it that is just it and at this point i was just staring it making sure that you know it keeps you know cooking yeah with this double boiling but if you prefer to go for um the frying method that is up to you so at this point i'm trying to drain out the 
rosemary oil i'm draining it it is still hot yeah but be careful not to burn yourself if you have a cheesecloth you can use a cheesecloth this one works as the same as the cheese cloth as well so rosemary is a very um, lovely products for your hair you know it could prevent your hair follicles from being starved of blood supply okay like i said earlier that it helps improve circulation rosemary oil helps to improve um hair blood circulation okay you know to know your hair will not be starving of blood supplies and all that it also helps to you know build your dying hair okay build up your dying hair and it will not you know it will reduce leading to hair loss to reduce any form of hair inflammatory problems you know it is very very essential that you use uh, rosemary oil beyond all these things rosemary also stimulates hair growth and, you know rosemary oil used to prevent premature graying and uh, dandruff it can also help uh, you know dry an inchy scarf when you have guys i am a living proof or testimony that rosemary oil you know work i made a video sometime about rosemary and um um gloves or you guys i won't even lie to you like if you use rosemary uh you know to braid your hair and after some days after carrying the hair and you lose it this your hair will retain much as, as in oh my god i don't know how to describe it but it is a must try it helps you to you know it's helped dry an itchy scarf you know it keeps your hair mo uh, moisturized without it looking inchy you know it is that inchy that causes you scratching your hair all the time and when you are scratching your hair all the time with your finger you tend to cut your hair guys believe me if you are the type that always scratches your hair whenever you lose that hair to comb it you will see that you will have a lot of you know hair loss okay so at this point yes i added my vitamin e oil to just a little drop to mix with my rosemary just because i like to overdo you can skip adding anything if you have custard oil you can add it but then i always exaggerate don't mind me guys <laughs> so i'm adding them into this container like i said if you want to make it in a commercial way you know the quantity you'll be using but i myself i do sell yeah but not not globally yet so i'm just selling within um, the people around me within my city and um that is why i'm filling them up here um, because i had order to make this so i had to fill it up in this um containers any container that you have you can go for it so guys thank you so much for always coming back to watch the videos i upload your love here is so massive and i would never take it for granted please subscribe to the channel if you are new here and also thumbs up to you know get my videos whenever i upload um new videos like turn on the bell button so that you'll be the first to get to see my videos yeah so this um container make sure you tight it very 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 well okay and someone may ask me how many times do i need to use this oil try any of this um using any of this oil from my channel one or twice per week to start out okay use them more often when desired or even become comfortable using them yes use them as much as possible if you want to moisturize your hair in the morning use it use it in the in the evening if you want to moisturize your hair as well look at how beautiful this is looking yes this is this is um coconut oil here and it can get frozen during the winter season don't be uh, don't be scared all you need to do when it is frozen just add water hot water in a container and put it there it will just definitely melt one hand but during the summer time or season it always remains this way as we all know already that you know coconut oil you tend to block very quickly okay so what you need to do just massage it gently into your scarf all right both your scarf and your hair and you will not regret using this i bet you thank you guys for 
watching this video thank you for if you are watch up until this time i will not take it for granted thumbs up like share comment let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you have any video idea for me want me to do please let me know in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching and god bless you see you and have yourself a beautiful day night or evening bye